I always make a bit of an effort, when I'm travelling around the country doing this job, I always make a bit of an effort to do the accent of wherever I am. And I think, generally, people take that pretty well. They like the fact you've made a bit of an effort. But sometimes people get chippy if you don't get it exactly right. I had a guy come up to me. I was doing a gig in the north of England. And this guy came up to me after the show, quite aggressive. Yeah. He said, uh, all right, our kid. I don't think you've got any fucking respect for this town. <laughs> Try and do the voice. We don't even fucking talk like that. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I said, no, you've got me all wrong. I love Newcastle. <laughs> I like the Welsh language. And I like the Welsh language because it was clearly invented by a dad losing at Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> That's clearly what's happened there. That's not a word, it starts with three L's. <laughs> it is a bloody word. <laughs> well, how's it pronounced? <laughs> <laughs> I was in North Wales uh, last year, I was in Landidno. Has anyone been to Landidno? Yeah. Uh, if it's a no, you don't have to answer, that's all. <laughs> I'll ask again. Has anyone been to Landidno? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a few of you have been. It's a lovely town. I was there anyway doing a show. Got on stage, walked out, I said, it's lovely to be in Landidno. This guy, front and centre, where you're sitting there, face like fucking thunder, <laughs> went, it's not Landidno, <laughs> you bloody fool. <laughs> it's Clandidno. <laughs> in Wales, the double L is pronounced with a C. <laughs> I said, all right, don't be a lunt about it. <laughs> I've got a friend that got into an argument with a barmaid from Sunderland. Long story short, he ended up calling her a fat, ugly, Geordie cunt. <laughs> and she said, I'm no a Geordie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no a Geordie. <laughs> Sorry, that's a terrible accent. But it is how they talk. <laughs> I was doing a bit of material last year about the rioting all over Paris. French people rioting, it's funny. Quick, Pierre, they have a water cannon. If we're not careful, we'll be washed. <laughs> and I wanted to check I hadn't offended anyone, so I said, are there any French people in? Someone shouted, si, senor. <laughs> I thought, that's a new kind of stupid. Because <laughs> it's Spanish. <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. <laughs> a sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries, in the same way as why you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. Now, I've discovered the secret to the Welsh accent isn't so much a phrase, it's more a state of mind. <laughs> to do a good Welsh accent, you've just got to sound confused. <laughs> <laughs> Whose coat is that jacket? <laughs> Whose shoes are those trainers? <laughs> See those two houses, the one in the middle is mine. <laughs> that paper you're sitting on, are you reading that? <laughs> I came out of the shop and there was my bike, gone. That's pretty much the first half of my show, ladies and gentlemen. But it's mainly me talking in the first half. Any questions so far? Anything else you'd like to know? Jimmy! Yes. Oh, I'm going to presume all the questions are for me. <laughs> if, that's... if I'm not being too starry and arrogant. <laughs> Although there's something about my name in this town. <laughs> Jimmy! Just sounds right. Obviously, the Scottish accent, probably the best phrase to use is, There's been a murder! <laughs> Chances are there probably fucking has been. <laughs> you're, from, you're from Belfast, right. Ginger and community. <laughs> I was just saying what you said to me back. I... <laughs> oh, how come you're teaching over here then? Are you in the witness relocation scheme? What the fuck happened? <laughs> fucking grass. <laughs> what, do you, what do you teach? What, what subject? What, sorry? English. English? You can barely fucking pronounce. <laughs> Anyone in from Belfast? Anyone from Belfast? 
You're Bel Belfast, where's Belfast? Hey, Belfast. <laughs> this is the phrase I use to get the Belfast accent right. Ginger and community. <laughs> The terrifying stare is optional, <laughs> but I find it helps. Ginger and community. <laughs> community has more syllables than you thought it had. <laughs> Do you know what the age of consent is in Mexico? It's 12. That's one way to deal with a paedophilia problem, isn't it? <laughs> I imagine they've still got a problem. She looked 12 to me. <laughs> the first time I ever came to Glasgow to play at the Stand Comedy Club, I got in the back of a taxi, yeah? And I said to the book, because I wanted to make a reference to where was rough in town. So I said, excuse me, driver, where's rough in Glasgow? And he said, for you, everywhere. <laughs> and then I was on stage later that night, yeah, on stage, and I told that story on stage, and all I said was, and I thought this was a comment that was beyond any kind of argument, all I said was, Glasgow is quite an aggressive town. And a guy down the front went, no, it fucking isn't it? <laughs> No hint of irony. No, it fucking is, not <laughs> I thought this place will do for me. <laughs> Anyone from Manchester? No one from Manchester. Manchester's pretty, the accent's pretty easy for Manchester. You just need three words. Sighted. All right. Not bad. <laughs> I, once, I once had sex with an Australian girl. She said mid-coitus. Whilst fucking. <laughs> She said, have you slimed yet? <laughs> have you slimed yet? <laughs> I thought it was all fucking Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think the easiest accent in the UK is the West Country, because the West Country is just a pirate voice, isn't it? Who can't do a fucking pirate voice? <laughs> Arr. <laughs> I'm going on a date <laughs> with my sister. <laughs> oh, my mammy doesn't find out. I'm cheating on her. <laughs> so I've come up with a way of dealing with this, OK? I could just say to her, could you not say mundane things during sex because it sort of kills the mood for me, sort of ruins it, you know, kills the moment. I could just say that, but that would be literally no fun at all. So what I'm doing is whatever she says to me, no matter how mundane, whatever she says to me during sex, I try and make it sexy. Set myself that challenge. It's a lot of fun. I'll give you an example. She said to me a couple of weeks ago, while we were, she said, uh, the recycling's coming tomorrow. <laughs> well, more accurately, she said, the recycling's coming tomorrow. <laughs> so I said, the recycling's not the only thing coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to separate your paper and plastic. <laughs> Doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> That's my sexy voice, by the way. <laughs> I've kind of gone for a 1970s black exploitation New York City voice. Because then you can say things like, I'm coming. If I just use my voice, I've just got to go, I've arrived. <laughs> now, what would be the phrase? If I was going to try and do the Birmingham accent, what would be the phrase for Birmingham? What would be the thing if I was going to... All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the other phrase that seems to come up a lot in Birmingham is, it's fucking shit here. <laughs> All right, it's fucking shit here. <laughs> Any other phrases for Birmingham? What other? Yeah, I what was that? <laughs> that was just all vowels. <laughs> what was it? A yow, all right. <laughs> a yow, all right. Have you had a stroke? I shouldn't really joke about strokes. If I ever have a stroke, I'll be laughing out the other side of my face. <laughs> Are there any other words, any other key phrases for Birmingham? Uh, <coughs> what, sorry? Cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> How am ya? How am ya? <laughs> How am ya? <laughs> Poorly educated? <laughs> What, sorry, what was that one there? Rather cold today. Rather cold today. <laughs> cold today. Oh, aye. 
That's like small talk at a bus station. <laughs> I suppose we're in Glasgow. It could well have happened at a bus station. <laughs> <laughs> I got the little... <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I remember when my nan was really ill in hospital, we went to visit her in Limerick in Ireland. Went over to see her and it was, you know, near the end. And the doctor came out and he said to us, he said, uh, he said, I oh, know she's, uh, she's very bad now. She, uh, she can't breathe without oxygen. I thought, where did you get your medical degree? The internet? <laughs> Aussie? I can do Aussie. I can do... Yorkshire! Is... <laughs> Yorkshire? It's 25 pounds a ticket. I thought we priced you out. <laughs> Yorkshire? Yorkshire, I say what I like and I like what I bloody well say. <laughs> Whip it, tetley, frugal. Cricket. <laughs> My favourite Yorkshire phrase is tin, tin, tin. Which means it isn't in the tin. <laughs> tin, tin, tin. <laughs> oh, tin, tin, tin. <laughs> Who do we have? Uh, who's, uh, where's Australian? Give us, a, give us a shout, Australian man. Hey! Are you still fucking there? Where are you? <laughs> I could do Australian, I could do, is it the Prime Minister or the President? I can re never remember, but I could do Alf from Home and Away. <laughs> Whichever one he is. <laughs> You're acting like a bloody hoon, mate. <laughs> a larrigan, a prize galah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck a galah is. <laughs> well, you, whereabouts in Australia are you from? Melbourne. Melbourne. So you weren't affected by the flooding, were you? Is that why you've sat so high up? <laughs> Not taking any fucking chances, but... <laughs> I was in the back of a cab in Newcastle and the cab driver said to me, there's no red light district in Newcastle. Because <laughs> that's how they talk. <laughs> if you're in Newcastle for the weekend, it's most disconcerting because you find yourself thinking, well, is everyone trying to start a sing-song and I just don't know the words? <laughs> There's no red light district in Newcastle. <laughs> I hadn't asked, incidentally. I hadn't got in the back of a cab in Newcastle and said, take me to the prostitutes, my good man. <laughs> no, just apropos of nothing, this bloke went to me, there's no red light district in Newcastle. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything, because he was quite a big, tough, Geordie bloke. But I did think to myself, I'll tell you why, no need. <laughs> Roller coaster, pooper scooper, umpa lumpa, Kawasaki, four unrelated words, meaningless in all respects, other than if you're trying to do the Geordie accent. <laughs> in which case, they're a fucking gift. <laughs> Roller coaster. <laughs> Poopa scoopa. <laughs> Oompa loompa. <laughs> Kawasaki. <laughs> the other one I loved, I was doing a gig last year in Cardiff, and uh, front and centre, this guy, front and centre, where you're sitting there, madam, out of nowhere, 20 minutes into the gig, he just went, Dragon. <laughs> so there wasn't a massive pause before he said dragon. That was just to let you know what happened there. In my head, I had to go, whose court is that jacket? <laughs> to get it started in my head. But 20 minutes in, he just went, dragon. <laughs> I went, what? He went, dragon. <laughs> I went, yeah, but what do you want? He went, I'd like a joke about a dragon, please. <laughs> and he said it like I was the cunt for turning up in Wales without any dragon-based humour. <laughs> Potter. Right. <laughs> just around, just toss up. Yeah, you know you're in fucking Glasgow, don't you, where someone pays you 22.50 to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> this is the phrase I use to do the Scouse accent. This is the phrase I have in my head to, to get me started in the Scouse. I want some chicken and a can of coke. I want some chicken and a can of coke. I want some chicken and a can of coke. <laughs> the little head bobble just comes if you say it a few times. <laughs> obviously, obviously, that's just to get you started. Once you get started, then you can say something properly, authentically scouts. I'm going on the rob. <laughs> I've got to get a prezi. It's me gran's birthday. She's 30.
charity worker came to my front door and they were collecting for a homeless shelter, so I gave him a cardboard box. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, am I right? <laughs> I did one of those nude calendars for charity. Yeah, Childline were livid. 